Amazon is pulling a controversial ad campaign in New York City after a major backlash. The ads for its new show, Man in the High Castle, are plastered on a subway train in Times Square featuring what appear to be Nazi symbols. Emily Smith from our New York station WCBS has the story. It's an ad that covered just one subway car in the entire system, but it covered the entire car. These are Nazi symbols, symbols that glorify Nazi Germany, and to, for somebody to walk into that. It's part of an ad campaign to promote Amazon's TV series, The Man in the High Castle, which imagines what it would look like in this country if America had lost World War II. State Representative Jeffrey Dinowitz says he's offended as a Jewish man and as a New Yorker. There could have been some elderly person who, who might have um, been a Holocaust survivor, for example. Just to see that, it's really shocking, and that's not the way to get people to watch a TV show. An MTA spokesman confirms Amazon decided to pull the ads late this afternoon. Afternoon. Prior to that decision, despite backlash from state lawmakers and city leaders, the MTA chose to allow the ads to stay, saying, quote, the MTA is a government agency and can't accept or reject ads based on how we feel about them. We have to follow the standards approved by our board. Some subway riders say with the MTA making $138 million a year in advertising revenue, they aren't surprised it wasn't denied. Still, passengers had a variety of feelings about the ad. It could be offensive to some people, yes. People can make up their own minds and decisions. I'm a big fan of the book and I'm loving the show. I wouldn't even have paid attention until you just pointed it out. No word on how long it will take to strip the subway car of the ad. It would have been up a full month. Emily Smith, CBS 2 News.